Hi everyone, it's Lynette with Charm Grammy Crochet. How are you today? Today is Friday, November 1st. I hope everyone had a great Halloween. Um, mine was uneventful, <laughs> I will say. Uh, I wanna, oh, don't mind me. Ouch. I want to thank you all for joining me here in the recovery room. I just am going to make a quick video. People are inquiring and I survived. Uh, the surgery did went well. Um, we had to do the full knee replacement. Uh, so, so that's where we're at. Um, I crocheted a little bit yesterday, uh, finally. Um, Tuesday was surgery. Wednesday was a day from hell. Thursday morning uh, was better. And today I'm, I, I quit taking the the narcotics finally so hopefully I can stay awake more than 45 seconds <laughs> because those things knock me out um, and I apologize I look like hell but Deb the Canadian catcher said do a video it's fine <laughs> and I had several people saying do a video while you're on the narcotics it'll be really fun <laughs> um, <clears throat> narcotics don't make me fun they just make me tired and I have slept a great deal, so that's good news. Um, my leg is not as sore as it was. Wednesday, I thought I was, like, going to die. Um, this time hurt way worse than the first one. And if one of them was going to hurt worse, good thing it was the second one, because I might not have wanted to do that again. <laughs> um, it was quite painful. Um, but it's better. So yesterday evening, I went into Zoom. I did uh, for the first time. I saw my sisters. Uh, and I did crochet a little bit. I am I'm working on the Wipeout Wednesdays uh, dish 52 dishcloths. A year of dishcloths out of the Annie's Crochet book. And last week, we were doing this one. Um... Well, I'll show you here. This one right here. The snowman. This week we are doing the snowflake. I thought we were doing a different one, but um, I was informed that, nope, I was wrong. This week it's going to be this one, the snowflake. Um, I haven't started that yet. Uh, but I did start the snowman. So I'll show you. I, you know, purple is my favorite color. I'm doing this with kitchen cotton. Um, and I'm doing mine. It's not perfect. It's not going to be perfect. Um, probably because I was half on drugs and I'm not pulling it out. It's a washcloth. Uh, so this is how far I got yesterday. And then I had to go take a nap because that was too much for me while I'm on narcotics. But I think I should be able to finish it today. Uh, it's 1.30 in the afternoon and I took narcotics this morning at like eight o'clock um because i wasn't sure how well it was gonna go so i <laughs> wasn't sure how the day was gonna go so i said well, i'm gonna they always say stay on top of the pain um so i took two at one o'clock I mean, at 8 o'clock, and then I, ha no, just one. I took one. Uh, still knocked me out. And I slept for a couple more hours. Um, and I didn't take any at noon, because I could take more at noon, and I didn't take any then. But I'm reserving the right to take it now whenever I feel like I need it. Um, I'm still taking the acetaminophen, uh, and I'll probably take that for the next 100 years. Who knows? <laughs> Um, and ice and elevation, you know, all that stuff. So that's going well. I did, I have projects over here, put the button on my boho bag. So let me show you that because I totally love it. I put, I, I went with the big blue button. I thought the color would be just fun. So here's the ribbon. That's the, I don't know how much of it we can get in here, but Let's see, it comes up like this. And then we've got all the colorful fringe on the bottom. So I did the big blue button, and I love it. Uh, and it's just a, 
<coughs> string, you know, I just put a string around it. So now you can open it. And I did line it. Um, Billy and Deb would be so proud of me. <laughs> Billy the Cana uh, uh, Crafty Floridian. I did line it, Billy. Uh, so this is, oh, that's the inside of the ribbon. That's the outside of the ribbon. That's it. The outside is way more colorful. Isn't that pretty? I just think it's so fun. So this bag is now completely done. All the everythings are woven in. Um, everything is done, done, done. And it is very usable. And I will use this bag because I think it's really cool. I did weave in the ends of my shawl that I threw away part of the yarn from because it got all tangled up. But I, those ends are all woven in, so this shawl is done. And somebody was asking what the pattern is. I'm not 100% sure. Um, I started it so long ago, but it is like fire and ice or something like that, I think is what it was called. I don't remember who the designer was. Um, but I'm sure that there was a YouTube tutorial because I was not pattern reading when I started this. Um, so that's real pretty. And, you know, I have a lot of blue clothes, so I, I don't wear shawls very often, but this, you know, you can wear it more like a shawlette, and I, I might do that on occasion. Um, otherwise, I don't know what I'll do with it. And then my uh, other thing I have to work on is to finish my Boggy Creek um, Luck of the Draw 9, which... I have it a bag over here. I haven't touched. I, I, I forgot about it. And when I was in Zoom last night, somebody was working on their project. And I'm like, oh gosh, I completely forgot I haven't even done that. So I believe the last color that I saw, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, was the 10th color. And I believe for me, it is the orange, um, as I recall. So that'll be the next color to go on. It'll go on down here. And uh, I don't think it'll be long enough. So I think I'm going to add another. Um, ah, oh, don't get stuck on my watch. There we go. I'm going to add, if it's not long enough, I'll add more colors to it. Um, and I was thinking even of going around and doing a, a border just like maybe single crochet of each color. I don't know that I have enough of each color left though. So we'll see about that. Um, if not, then maybe I'll take some of the colors that are left over and just turn them into bright colored squares to send to Linnean um, of the leftover neon colors. Uh, so don't mind me in my bathrobe. Um, it's chilly today. It was like near 80, over 70, near 80 on Tuesday, the day I had surgery. And then it's come down a little every every day, uh, Wednesday and Thursday, to still being above 70. And now today it's in the like 40s. <laughs> so now today it's cold. Um, so now I'm wearing robes and blankets. <laughs> and I like still got ice on me. So it's like chills your body down and then I'm colder than normal. Um, but I'm doing pretty good. I can walk uh, a little bit at a time. I can do my exercises. Uh, the only trouble I have is getting out of this chair. My, I had the left leg done this time. My right leg is still not strong enough to get me out of this particular chair. I can get off the toilet. I can get out of the bed. I can get out of the um, rolling chairs. This chair is uh, very cushy, and it rocks, and I can't, and it's low to the ground, um, and my leg just isn't. My right leg is just not strong enough to pick me up. Roy has to like, um, or whoever is here has to like help. I can get up off the chair. I just can't get into the forward motion of the standing up. They have to like pull my shoulders forward. Uh, I don't have enough strength in my leg to get me that high. So they like gr grab a shoulder and, 
and help me stand up all the way when I'm in this chair. But I spend a lot of time in this chair because it's the most comfortable piece of furniture we have. And it's 10 steps from the bathroom. Uh, actually, 10 steps to the toilet. <laughs> so um, this is the place to stay. Even though Roy is now encouraging me to go downstairs, which I'm really afraid of, guys. I'm going to be quite honest with you. Um, just on a personal health note, my knees have been arthritic for about 15 years. And for the last at least probably two or three, maybe up to five years, I haven't used my right leg to walk down the stairs first. It's left leg, right leg, left leg, right leg. Never putting my right leg down first so that my right leg has all the weight on it because I have, it's given out on me. And luckily for me, it just meant I put the weight on that leg and then my, it just gave out and I just slowly sat down to the, to the step until my butt hit the stair and then I'm, then I'm done. So that being said, I wasn't using that leg. So it doesn't support my weight as well as my left leg. Um, so the fact that that leg has been carrying the brunt of, of the work that might be one of the reasons that it hurts so bad, so much more than the right leg to have it done. It's more muscular. So anyway, now to go down the stairs, my brain automatically says left leg, left leg, left leg first. And my right leg does not want to go first. And I don't, my brain does not trust it not to put me on the ground. So going down the stairs is very scary for me. Um, Falling would be a horrible, horrible thing. So you definitely don't want to do that. And so they said, go down backwards. You know, still use, you know, you go up with the good, down with the bad first. That's how that works. The good legs go up to heaven. The bad legs go down to hell. <laughs> so up with the good, down with the bad. Um, so I would go backwards and still go down with my surgical legs on my left leg um, leaving the weight and the bending to the right or leaving the bending to the right leg because that's where it gets weak um, which is not as scary because you're not seeing the whole fall down so mentally it's a lot easier on you so if you ever have that fear go down backwards I did practice backwards at the hospital and I was not at all afraid and I could do it. Of course, you know, I couldn't feel anything <laughs> because uh, I just, you know, had the surgery and all the spinal and all that stuff was still working. Um, but my left leg had, my right leg hasn't hurt at all. So, um, Roy is encouraging me to go down. Maybe I will later, uh, probably tomorrow. I'm a little nervous about it still. Uh, I want to give this day another, I want to give this leg another day to rest and heal um, before I take on that challenge, I think. So maybe tomorrow. Um, I feel bad for him. I'm running him ragged and Amanda has come over every day. Uh, Chloe's been here uh, to help out. And I appreciate them doing that for him so much because it's a lot of stairs and, you know, we're not spring chickens anymore. But he's doing a good job and um, life is good so far. Uh, so anyway, that's all I have now. I'm just rambling over nothing. Um, but I just wanted to pop in and tell you that I'm alive and kicking. Um, hopefully the next time you see me, I'll look way better. <laughs> Um, there's no showering for a week, so I can't shower till Wednesday. Uh, dry shampoo and baby wipes, you know, uh, doesn't make you feel real hospitable <laughs> on a personal note. Um, but I am alive. I am kicking and I am crocheting again. So that's the good news. Uh, and I want to thank you all for watching. Uh, thank you for all your prayers and well wishes. I really do appreciate it. It helps a great deal. Uh, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.